Thank you so much for staying with us, being with us, I should say, for another edition of All Angles. I've been on air too long today, clearly. For another edition of All Angles, I'm Dion Jackson. And joining me in studio today, we have Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark to talk about holy things. Dr. Clark, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Dion. No, it's just last night, in fact, that the Bank of Jamaica sent out what they call the automatic banking machine service standards for deposit-taking institutions. In other words, standards that should govern how the, the banks and the other deposit-taking institutions handle their ABMs or ATMs and how customers benefit from that. Now, I was just listening back to an interview we did in January on radio. On Beyond you the remember headlines. I remember it. I have the date, January 19th. January 19th. And on that day, you had said it was just, just for my viewers, it was the culmination of a series of interviews we had done talking to Jamaicans across the island about the terrible experiences they were having trying to get money from ATMs. ATMs not working take note of some areas, not having cash, all kinds of problems that people had been com complaining about, as I've said, for several years, but that got very much worse last year. You had said four things would be, would be done. One, you had raised the concern about the fees that banks paid each other to access ATMs mm -hmm. and said those fees were so low, there was no incentive to put in additional machines and that those would have to be raised, but those would have to be dealt with by the, the banks themselves. You, you spoke of naming and shaming and you spoke of a Bank of Jamaica monthly report mm -hmm. and that we're seeing coming out in the service standards, which... which I'm Promise gonna, made, promise kept. We, 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 we're going we're gonna to come to that in a little bit. You spoke about a tax incentive um, to try to encourage more organizations to go into the business of Korea, Korean cash, carrying cash, mm -hmm. since right now it's one institution. And that institution. Too, promise made, promise kept. We in the budget debate, I announced that persons in the security business will be able to bring in armored cars over the period of 24 months at a lower cost than would normally be the case. So we want people to get into the, the business of courier and cash using armored cars. We, we heard that in your budget presentation, yeah. and I said I'll come back to that as well. Mm -hmm. And then you spoke of what is called the Twin Peaks model mm -hmm. for regulating the financial sector, which will see two different institutions, one regulating what are called you know, the safety, the prudential matters, the other market conduct, which will include ATMs, ABMs, and so on. Uh, and we'll... Again, we'll come back to that a little bit. So first of all, these service standards, the Bank of Jamaica, we know, independent institution. Mm -hmm. So is it that these were developed without the input of the finance ministry? How, how does that relationship work with something Yes, like the this? central bank is independent in both monetary policy uh, implementation as well as with banking supervision. So the, uh, the central bank would have developed these on their own. There would have been a clearly aware of the, the problem uh, and the need uh, for these to come out at this time. You know, as I, I think I might have said on your program, what gets measured gets done. And the idea behind these service standards is we're going to inform the public what the minimum standards are, and then we're going to measure them on a m monthly basis, not we, the central bank is going to measure them and publish how each banking institution is performing with respect to its, the guidelines on ABMs. All right, so I have to tell you, because I did speak to the governor and one of the deputy governors on radio extensively this afternoon, and the public is, many members of the public are less than impressed with these service standards mm -hmm. because of this. No monetary sanctions will be applied as a result of breaches of the guidelines. And the officials of the BOJ explained that that is because they have no legislative authority Correct. to do so. Correct. And a lot of my listeners on radio, and no doubt viewers now mm. are saying, all right, this is a waste of time. Because if the institutions can't be punished, they have no incentive to do better. Mm. And I understand that you placed a lot of emphasis on this name and shame and the reporting, but surely the issue of the sanctions, which actually now falls into your lap as a legislator, why isn't that priority? Right. So um, the legislation to empower uh, a regulator to enforce market conduct uh, standards is legislation we're working on now to come forward in the Twin Peaks model. You read that as the fourth sort of bullet. That is something that is going to take some time. I mean, very, very 
uh, the Twin Peaks, we could have an entire program on our move to Twin Peaks model of regulation. But explain for my viewers. Yeah, okay, for your viewers. A sentence or Sure. Two. Uh, Jamaica's financial services sector consists of many conglomerates, right? Financial groups that are in banking, life insurance, general insurance, security dealers or capital markets, etc. And we, in Jamaica, 90% of financial assets are in these financial conglomerates. Now, what we have as a regulatory setup is that one regulator does banks, the other regulator does insurance companies and security dealers. But if your landscape is such that all your financial houses are commingled, then something can be left in the cracks if we have our regulator, regulatory structure that does not mirror the structure of the financial sector industry. So what's what, been left in the cracks is us and our cash and the ABMs. Well, what, no, what gets left in the, cra in the cracks potentially is the opportunity for arbitrage between different types of businesses. So we are having on the prudential side, uh, they will regulate not just banks, but banks, pension, insurance, security dealers. And then we'll have another regulator that is squarely focused on market conduct and on consumer protection. Hold and that, that is something that we don't have right now. Hold that thought for me, Mr. Minister. Let's go to the break. We'll come back in a little while. We'll pick up on this issue. And I know you have lots of concerns and questions about this as well. Remember, our hashtag is TVJ. All angles will soon come.